My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! Not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you many chances. I spurned each one. Uh, Such an Fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. <laughs> Ah! 
Court welcomed you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know, his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. <sighs> this 
stone has stood for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. <laughs> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again. On the gold bend the toll life of human are for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We to death and ever grow. Huh? Here, yeah. you see what bliss my face well, shows. Well. <laughs> Luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit Ooh, yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This Pete's knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! No matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh? Waiting for pluck your hair and make an offer. Hey, hey, wait! 
Hi. The Keeper of Black Wind Mountain have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image. I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers. Before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then... The temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? Oh. You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh. That's a tough one. Good luck to you!
It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway. Just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young ones these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach them a lesson with your new spell! Thank you. 
Wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore. But I feel jars of wine. This form oh, does not wonder last. If there's for anything me. left inside. Should you find yourself lost, just follow my voice. Leave them now, be. Off you go. One misstep, Lord Lingshu might make a meal out of. So that really is...
to set off that beast. In the backyard is Blackwing Gwai's ally, calls itself Ling Schutzer. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, no. get away while you can, little monkey. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back!
as well. Take a good look around. A great pill, the Black Wind Guide, gifted the wolf. Finding it would be a deserving reward for that night. Come closer and fear not. Noble blood doesn't prey on... You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwind Gwai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here. Now I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then.
Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wheels float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. This is better. This gourd, though humble, may save the lost, banish their obsessions, and guide them. For one as destined as you, there can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds, drifting through life, with a destiny beyond our grasp.
This humble one's name is Guangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Craving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire!
Guan Mo. Guan Yu. Remember now, the evil monks abetted Elder Jincha to burn the great sage and tongue monk alive. That's these two. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yao Guais? I have an ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead and take them out, once and for all? <laughs> These snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Huaguo. Uh, I've met many of you. By <laughs> rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. <laughs>
Remember, young friend, a sip makes one tipsy, many sips make you hammered. Hailed bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? Past's grip beyond our grasp, the future we may still clasp. Late is the hour, young one, in which you choose to stain my tranquil abode. Pray tell, to what end do you seek? Now you shall face what I truly am!
Cheers! <laughs> Fancy doing anything today? <laughs> Where there's drink, all is... Summoned my deeds. You shall not sleep. 
dying state. Please. A ripple awakens, not without the stuff. Reflect upon it. That. Engulfs all the power of water. And bliss. Now you shall face what I truly am!
A ripple away, not without a stir. Reflect.
shall face what I truly am. You Yeah. <laughs> 
A ripper awake. <laughs>
Now you shall face what I truly
without a stir. Reflect upon it. That is my counsel. <laughs> you Yeah! 
A ripple awakens, not without a Ripple awakens, not without a stir. 
reflect upon it. That is my counsel. <laughs> Is it any good? And... Get it in, 
Now you shall face what I truly
fault! No ill will, I bear. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed and fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells, have you seen them all? Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the Black Wind Guire's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp. And keep a lookout. It's time to teach you how tough we are. Okay. <laughs>
coming for our master. You must...